you guys, this is six-time WWE Women's Champion, Mickey James, and I am sold out. Wow, one take, one take Mickey is what they call her. Th they do call me that. <laughs>that was like, the other thing, social networking, how has that changed wrestling? It's changed it a lot because you're, I feel like it's taken away a little bit of the immortality or, of, or where you are like this untouchable superstar because now everybody feels like they can communicate with you. They can just at you and they feel like you've heard it, whether you've seen it or heard it yeah. or not, right? Um, so it does bring a different dynamic. Everything is so now, do you exposed. sing too? I do. I try. Okay, it depends so, on who so you ask. What, you, what did you do? I do country, southern okay. rock type music. Okay. Yeah, I so write. So is that a hobby I, now, or is it a career? Uh, no, I'm working on my third album. Are you? Yeah. Uh -huh. What's the name of the third album going to be? I'm trying to come up with a Are title. You? We've already put four, or five songs out okay. for this one. So. So um, do you actually go out and entertain? I do. I haven't since I've gone back. I have only done a couple of shows. Right. I've kind of cut back on the shows, the right. touring, because our schedule is sure. so demanding. But do you love plan it. to keep that going after your wrestling career? And just oh yeah, I, for sure. I want to. Okay. I love. So how much longer are you going to wrestle? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So you still? I didn't still expect. Love it, still I love it. I love. It. I think it'll always be a part of me in some aspect. But um, I didn't expect to come back. Okay. I got one more question for you. <laughs> this is important. We have a school program called Sold Out where we go into uh, high schools and junior highs and speak about drug and alcohol abstinence and about character and life skills, teaching kids through an interactive program how to do it. I want you to look in the camera and just talk to our students and because you've done something that very few women have ever done, which is to become a, a professional wrestler at the yeah. highest level. So what would you tell girls no matter what they want to do and guys? I feel like this is the one truth that I've realized is that the only person who can ever stop you is yourself. Like, people can tell you, I, if I was told no a thousand times, that was too small, I wasn't good enough, I didn't have this, that, the other, and I proved them all wrong because I, in my heart, knew what I was capable of. Once We don't all want the same thing right. in life. So that's why we can all achieve what we want. If you really are willing to put in the work, willing to de dedicate yourself the time and make the sacrifices in order to achieve that. And sometimes that means going to bed early or not going out and partying with your friends. Or sometimes it just means like putting the extra work in. And some of us have to put extra work in. There are some of us who are maybe not be as genetically gifted. Right. You know, I'm vertically challenged and I'm from a little town in Virginia that nobody's ever come out of. You know what I mean? Yeah. So but it's you're like breaking barrier. nothing you're is, you're you are like we are the worst critics of ourselves and we get in our way our own way so much you know because so many kids today in this generation uh would rather not try than fail yeah because of you know the because social networking thing is really a big brutal, deal but that's why i think it's like yeah it can be it can be brutal but if that's like a thing that's dragging you down then just cut it away what it's not necessary right you don't need to be on there why right it's not necessary. I think we allow so many toxic things into our life sure. because of social acceptance that we we almost then allow like these spaces for for negativity to come. Well, it sounds like you've had success. a journey of perseverance. It's been a big deal in your life, yeah. overcoming obstacles. I think so. And but I feel even there was a time when I almost quit wrestling right before I debuted, and I I went to my boss and I was like. This isn't fair. They're, you know, this is a, you know, I'm I'm here and I'm working and helping all these girls and I'm not a trainer and I want to be on television and all these girls are going up before me and they don't even know how to wrestle. Like I was just in my head yeah. and I like I had dedicated 7 years of my life at that point to this. I had slept in my car like I was saying. Yeah. I had done the road thing. I'd made $25 in a handshake. Yeah, and there comes a there comes a point where you have to say to yourself, you know enough. what? That's right. And I was exhausted and I was heartbroken because I felt like I was get I wasn't getting the what opportunities that I deserved. And then I realized like it's not a personal attack against me. It's it's just the way the business and it's works. It's also your journey. Right, it's my journey. Well, this has been Magic. a pleasure. Mickey James, professional wrestler on Sold Out Sports Talk. I never thought I'd ever say that. Mickey James, <laughs> professional wrestler on Sold Out Sports Talk. We just broke a barrier today. I'm oh, really excited I love about barriers. that. Yeah, thank you so much yeah, for this. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Uh,